last weekend we had a really cool opportunity to go and visit Haco, Costa Rica and visit the pastors of Horizon International Church there in Haco. We had the opportunity to not only attend their service and just be with all the internationals in Haco, but we also had the opportunity to go out to lunch with them, which was really nice to just hear their story, their vision, how they got there, um, the people that are on their team now that are helping them, and it's just so neat to see that God moves and brings two individuals over, and it was just really neat to hear their story. Yeah, and it was really encouraging because, I mean, that's what we're gonna be doing, you know, mm -hmm. reaching an international community in Guadalajara, but it was really interesting because their situation here is totally different than what it's gonna be in Guadalajara. Mm -hmm. Here in that in that coastal town of Jaco, there's not like a university or any sort of necessarily like a big industry that people work in. It's more so people that are able to um, work from wherever, work from their homes, work online, programmers, stuff like that that live there. Mm -hmm. And we were kind of expecting it to be mostly Americans, mm -hmm. but it was really interesting. They had a ton of Canadians and people from all over that were attending there, which was really cool. And then we even met, we even met some Ticos, that's like what a, what they call Costa Rican here, like yeah. some people that um, are just wanting to learn more English and learn more about, you know, a different culture and they were attending the church and it become a huge part of it. Yeah. And so it was really cool. They're currently sharing a building uh, with a Spanish speaking church mm -hmm. there, which was incredible. They were a part of the construction project mm -hmm. for that. But now they, they have a plan to build their own facility and God's just doing amazing things there. How many people do you think were there? Like, Hundred? Yeah, like about a hundred English speaking individuals with perhaps six or ten Ticos that were attending that know English really well that prefer to go to an English church. Which yeah. that was really interesting too. Yeah, and there was one dog as well. Was... Yeah, and they allow <laughs> dogs to attend their church as well. <laughs> Yeah, and it, it was just really interesting. Hako is known as kind of this beach resort town, so to speak, here. Uh, it's only about an hour and a half outside of the main city here, San Jose. But it was interesting talking to him just about the problems and everything that they're having in Hako. As he called it, Little Las Vegas Syndrome, as to um, human trafficking, you know, prostitution. There's just clubs everywhere, um, all kinds of stuff, drug use. It's just become this really intense city that all of these people have come to retire in or come to work in to live in paradise and work, but then they get caught up into all of this, I guess, illegal activity or just all of this sinful stuff that's just crazy. And now that this church has been there, that these people's lives are changing and they're coming to know God. And Sarah, oh, one of the pastors there, she was telling us a story of one of the guys we met there. He was, um, He's from the United States and he owned a mechanic shop there in Hako. And he told God one day in English, he said, you know, if you want me to go to church, God, you're gonna have to build a church across the street for me to go to and then I'll go to church, God. And then they built this church and then he went from being an alcoholic, miserable, all these things to now being one of the key people in their church. So it was just crazy to see how God is just using these international churches in such a huge way and it's making a big impact. So it was really awesome. And one of the things that I really liked about Pastor Sarah was the fact that they both aimed to put Bibles in every hotel in Hako. They talked to the owners and asked them if they could um, put a Bible in every room in hopes that perhaps they'll read it. And it was really neat because she told us a story about a guy that that actually happened. And I'm not sure if he attended his church, their church or not, but he got saved through a Bible in a hotel room. And so it's really neat that they do little things like that, um, that make an impact, that could make an impact that perhaps they don't know that they get saved, but one day they will know when they get to heaven that through that Bible in that hotel room, they're able to hear the gospel and um, they, they're just planting seeds. Yeah. So in all, it was just an amazing weekend just to see how God is reaching people no matter where they're at in the world, no matter what language they speak or what country they live in, what lifestyle they have. You know, God still loves them and God still wants a relationship with them. Uh, and he's using the local church to reach people all around the world. So we're, we're counting down the days until we're in Guadalajara to be with Pastor Ernie and Sandra. And 
to be starting to reach the community there. So uh, thank you guys so much to everyone that has just been loving on us and supporting us and praying for us. That means so much to us. We're just about ready. We're finishing up our last trimester of classes and we'll be in Guadalajara here in no time. So thank you so much for all of your prayer and support uh, and we will talk to you soon. Bye.